Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Hood Gaming's Tactic Tester. So far we've had two creators including myself take the gauntlet of the Tactic Tester and we have a nice benchmark so far. Today we welcome our third content creator in the infamous RDF Tactics with his one centre back tactic. It's crazy, I need to show you it but first of all let's get into the rules. <laughs> Okay then guys, so to remind you of the rules for this series, all tactics must have a proven record of success or achievement. You can't just create a tactic and give it to me and we will run it through the tester for you to see if it's any good. I need to be able to see if the tactic has had some success previously. All tactics will use the same team and fixtures for the test. So we've set up a save with Arsenal. Everyone has the same fixtures, excluding uh, cup competitions, of course. And we will see who comes out on top. No transfers will be allowed to be made in either transfer window, so no strengthening or weakening of the, uh, the side in question. Tactics will be loaded in and the whole season will be simulated in one go and we will see what the percentage is. All points, wins, goals scored and win percentage will be collected and displayed to find the best tactic out there. So guys, this is how the table stands at the moment. I am top of the two creators so far uh, with a 66.66 winning percentage, which I think is actually pretty decent with the tactic that I used in the beta and I've carried on into my Pentagon series and on Twitch uh, in my Glory Hunter save, twitch.tv forward slash gaming UK. Come and check us out on a Tuesday or Thursday when we stream that one. Um, and then obviously the great uh, 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 FM Stinger is on, has been on the, the channel as well with his 352 formation, which was and I am going to dub it the 4-3-3 the killer or 4 2 3, one killer. It had an unbelievable record against those two formations. So it's definitely one that you should check out. If you've not watched last week's episode, I'll leave a card to it here. Go and check it out. However, guys, the man that we are taking a look at today and his formation is the infamous, as I said in the intro, RDF Tactics. Um, the man comes up with unbelievable tactics of his own or recreations. And today we are going to be testing out his one centre back tactic. Flashing up on the screen now, you guys will see the success that he has had with this. Winning the championship with Birmingham, 106 points as well is absolutely nuts. Scoring 95 goals again absolutely incredible if you look at their attacking efficiency they are one of the most aggressive and clinical teams in the championship which is no mean feat because Birmingham aren't necessarily one of the best teams out there and if you look at their average possession as well they are top of that table as well with 59% possession in their 46 matches so let's fire his tactic up in game and we will take a look at it so then guys, this is RDF's one centre-back tactic. He's listed it as a 3-3-3-1 pass and dance Birmingham, which is obviously the team that he used and found the success with. Um, I'm not going to go into a massive breakdown of the formation. RDF has already done a video on this formation on his channel. So I'm going to leave a link to that in the description and as a card in the video right now. So you can go and check that out for yourself where he breaks it down a little bit more and shows you some more of the success that he's had with Birmingham as well. Just as a quick run through though, sweeper keeper, two fullbacks, one centre-back, a half-back, a defensive midfielder, deep line playmaker, two inverted wingers, attacking midfielder and a false nine. Um, obviously the instructions are all set up as well. If we go for a quick pick like we usually do just to give you guys a little bit of context as to who's probably going to be playing where, this is what has been picked. So Leno in goal, Bellerin, Gabriel Tierney. Thomas Partey in the halfback alongside El Nenny as the defensive midfielder, Ceballos as the deep line playmaker, Saka, Mazu Ozil and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang as the three behind the striker of Alexandra Lacazette. So the team is set up. I am going to sin the season and we'll be back to see how RDF's one centre-back tactic gets on in the tactic tester. So then guys, here we are at the end of the season and I can see that Arsenal have finished in fourth place, which again is a very, in my opinion, that is a very, very good result for Arsenal. There are some good teams, as you can see, Chelsea in this simulation dropping all the way down to eight in one where Leeds get relegated as well. But looking at things, it looks like their last five league games haven't necessarily been the best. So let's jump into the competitions tab and see how they got on. So the first game of the season would have been the English Community Shield. Runners up in that. We'll go through the full schedule very soon so we can see how they got on. 
were knocked out in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal by Leicester City. Uh, were knocked out in the semi-finals of the FA Cup by Liverpool. Liverpool are still a juggernaut in this um, in this in this game. In, in FM20, they were phenomenal, and it seems like that is continuing into FM21. In the Europa League, knocked out in the second round by Lille. Um, that's probably a little bit disappointing of a result. And then obviously, as we discussed, finishing fourth in the Premier League. Um, so let's jump into the schedule and see how they managed to get on. So they lost the Community Shield to Liverpool two, two, uh, after a 2-2 draw. They lost on penalties. Lacazette and Mezu Ozil missing the penalties there. Um, the defensive shape, looking at these, these ratings, seems very, very strong. Henderson uh, and Jota scoring for Liverpool. William and Aubameyang getting the goals for Arsenal. Um, then look at this run, guys. Absolutely phenomenal. Don't lose a game in the, in the Premier League for or in all competitions for God knows how long. All the way down to here to Leicester in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal. Where's the first loss in the lead come? Against Leicester in the Premier League. Wow. Okay, so it looks like uh, Leicester is a thorn in the side. Maybe Jamie Vardy's pace and ability to get in between that one centre-back and the half-back is, uh, is probably what's causing them some issues here. But look how this how this starts. Unbelievable run here. Unbelievable set of results. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight wins in a row, unbelievable. I know there's some cup games in there, but absolutely powering through. Then they put another nice little run together here. Where do things start going wrong? Um, so they lost 2-1 in the Premier League to Sheffield United. That's interesting. Lost in the first knockout round of the Europa League to um, Granada, which is very interesting. Luis Suarez, this is, this is a guy who gets good, by the way. Um, in future seasons i uh, lost 2-1 in the first leg but 1-2-0 on the second leg so advanced in that lost to west ham at home in the premier uh, no that's away lost to west ham away in the premier league some very ropey results here um i always seem seem to see that in these simulations the 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 lesser teams seem to pick up results um so they lost 2-1 to Lille in the first leg uh, jonathan david with a, a late goal there 82nd minute uh, and then drew 0-0 at the Emirates to go out. Um, this is a nice little set of results here. Beating Liverpool, beating Burnley 4-1, a 6-5 against West Brom. Jesus, let's take, let's investigate this one a little bit. Um, who is this? Arlen Grant scoring absolute bombs. How many did he score this game? Was it four did I just see? One, two, three, four, five. He scored all five of their goals and got a 9.9. .9. Wow. Uh, on the other side of the coin, Leno, Bellerin, Mari, Blasenac. Ooh, this is not the best Arsenal team, is it? Saka, Mazzuto, Ozil, Reese Nelson, and Eddie Nketiah. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We'll need to take a look at the injury history to see what happened. Uh, back to, where's, where's the back-to-back -back losses to Liverpool's tough in the uh, FA Cup and in the Premier League? Ah, it's, yeah, it's the last month where it's all sort of fallen apart. Draws with Brighton, draws with Everton, draws with Aston Villa. Uh, lost to Chelsea and oh my oh my oh <laughs> what happened here Cavani Greenwood Rashford Fernandez Greenwood Cavani Van der Beek and then two more from Cavani wrapping up a 9-1 win for Manchester United against Arsenal wow okay let's get into the squad and let's see um using this fantastic view from uh, Passion for FM. Who came out on top in terms of goals? Lacazette with 22 goals for the season. Willian coming in with 16. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang with 15. And Nicolas Pepe with 13. So Pepe is currently injured with a broken lower leg. And he's only got seven weeks to three months left. So he's been out a, a long period of time. Aubameyang always seems to have an injury history in this uh, simulation. Not this time. Tight hamstring and bruised ankle. Not the worst. Lacazette, were you out for any period of time? Yeah, pulled his hamstring at three times. Oh no, just the once in this season. Just the once in this season. So it's interesting. Willian, anything in terms of injuries for you, my friend? Yeah, he's had a couple this year. Twisted ankle, pulled groin, tight calf. It, it really does, does uh, hamper how the team gets on. We go into the team report though. Let's take a look at their general performance. Uh, in compared to the rest of the league, they have a higher goals per game, highest, higher tackles. The only thing they're let down on is shots on target ratio, which is probably down to the, the, the team rather than the formation. Lots of shots. Um, 
Lots of uh, expected goals per game as well compared to the Premier League. That is very nice. Arsenal score a high number of expected goals in 90 minutes compared to average and they find the tar target with relatively average number of shots. In terms of their attacking efficiency, you can see they are still up there. They're having a high amount of shots per game, but they're just not quite as clinical as some of the other teams out there. I'm looking at mainly Liverpool and Manchester United there who are getting 18 to 19 uh, shots per game. Um, if we take a look at some more of the analyst stats then, in terms of the scoring, we'll pull up their attacking efficiency is kind of what I've, I've just shown you there. In terms of their defensive efficiency, let's open this one up. As you can see though, very low number of shots per game, but also relatively leaky. Um, now I'm going to put that down to Arsenal being Arsenal and the defenders that they have at the club rather than RDF's one centre back tactic. And then if we have a look at the formations faced, um, the best one that it comes up against is a 4-3-3 DM wide, which again, a lot of a lot of teams play in uh, in Football Manager this year. So it seems like another good formation for that formation. If you are playing a 4-2-3-1, maybe not the best as they concede uh, seven minus seven clear cut chances per game. So I know what you guys are all wondering, where does RDF rank on the leaderboard? Let's get over to that right now. So then guys, this is the current leaderboard. I am still sat top, but I am putting that down to the fact that I have played the most generic formation in a 4-2-3-1 you could ever find possible. Um, RDF slots in at second now um, with his one centre-back tactic. He finished fourth in the Premier League, as I showed. Same as Stinger, uh, but a few more points, a few more goals scored, uh, a lot more goals conceded, but nine of them were, were in one game, remember, against Manchester United. Um, goals per game of just over two as well is very solid. And his win ratio was 61.4%. So guys, that is it for today's video. If you think you have a tactic that will do better than our leaderboard at the moment, don't forget to get in touch either in the comments or message me on Twitter or Instagram or something like that and share your formation with me. I'm always looking for people to take on this gauntlet of the tactic tester. If you have enjoyed today's video, go, don't forget to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for daily football manager content. I will be back tomorrow at 5 p.m. with another video. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys there.